right, did you know that one in eight couples struggle with conceiving a child? Well, in honor of National Infertility Awareness Week, we have Dr. Silva or Dr. Celso Silva, uh, who works in partnership with Women's Care Florida, joining me to discuss this issue and how you uh, know when to see a specialist. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. It's a pleasure it, to be here. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here and to discuss this. I was telling you before we got stop, uh, started, this topic is near and dear to my heart. Believe it or not, expecting baby number three, but there was a time where I didn't think I was going to be able to have kids. I know you as well. You and your family have struggled with infertility, but have kids now as well, which I think it's important that we're talking about this issue, especially with the week of um, Infertility Awareness Week. Is that yes. your thoughts as well? Yeah, those are my thoughts. This is a, a, an important week. Mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, infertility is a very, very common condition. And this week is important because it brings awareness to something that is not only uh, very common, but it also does not discriminate. Yeah. Anyone, True. independent of their sex, you know, their religion, their socioeconomical background, cannot be affected by, by this condition. Well, and I think sometimes it just feels like such a shock, too, when it does happen. You know, we were discussing, I think, when people are ready to start a family, they're ready, and then they go, wait a minute, we have to, you know, deal with us. Let's talk about some of the, the, the highlights here that, again, for a week like this that we want to bring up. I mentioned one in eight couples. Is that, that's the number? I mean, that's how common. Has that gone up or down in past years? I mean, is it more common now? No, this, this is, you know, the uh, uh, today's uh, statistics. Mm -hmm. um, there is uh, some data starting to show that the condition may be increasing in frequency because women are delaying childbearing, mm -hmm. you know, lately. They uh, wanted to have a career, but they end up postponing their dream of having a too, child. That age, kind of waiting to start the family. Yeah. How do you know? I think this is a, a big challenge because, again, when people are ready to start a family, they're ready, they want it now. How do you know when to see a specialist? How do you know that enough time has gone by where you say, okay, wait a minute, something isn't adding up here? Right, I mean, that, that, that's a great and very important question. As you probably know, age is a very important factor as uh, uh, we talk about infertility. So we use age as a criteria to uh, indicate when a patient should come to see the specialist. So for women that are less than 35 and they have been trying to conceive for about a year without success, it's probably time for them to come and see us. If you are between the ages of 35 and mm -hmm. 40, I think six months of unprotected sexual intercourse, it's already a sign that they should come to see the specialist. And if they are above the age of 40, we mm -hmm. think they should come and see us immediately because age is such an important predictor yeah. of the success that we have with anything that we can offer to our patients. Okay. What about medical history or, you know, if, if you know that your mother had a, an issue, I mean, what are you looking for as far as family background? Right. I mean, that, that's another great point. I think there are certain conditions that uh, if a woman know that they have them, okay. they should come and see us earlier. For example, endometriosis, or if okay. you have a history of a recurrent pregnancy losses, or if you have a history of a, you know, mm -hmm. a prior tubal ligation. These are conditions that if you know you have them, it makes more sense for you to come and see the specialist sooner rather than later. So if someone is having to see a specialist, what are those first initial testing and I mean, what do you start looking for from the beginning? Right. I mean, when a patient comes to our office, there are three basic tests that we'll okay. be taking from and there is some blood work and an ultrasound. We do a hysterosalpingogram or HSG okay. and then we do a semen analysis. These are the three basic infertility tests and that gives us a very broad idea about their reproductive status. Well, that's what I was going to ask too because obviously we're talking about the, the woman, but dad's going to eventually have to come in too and, and maybe get some work up. Right. You know, yeah. As well. Yeah. Does you know, that we, happen pretty early on? Yeah, we like to do the workup for the couple. Mm -hmm. So, an infertility specialist, the couple is our patient. It's not only the wife, it's not only the husband, it's not only the male and the female part, but the couple is our patient. As we get ready to wrap up here, what are the most common things that tend to come up from those initial tests? Can you, can you tell a lot from those? Yeah, we can tell a lot from those. The vast majority of our patients, we, with this basic test, we will know and understand what's preventing them from getting pregnant. Probably the two most common ones nowadays are egg-related infertility, okay. which is caused by advancing age, a decline in egg quality and egg numbers as a woman ages. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is 
fallopian tube problems, fallopian tube obstructions. Those are probably the two most common ones that we see in the office. Well, I'm glad you're going to come back because, again, we're just kind of scratching the surface on, on this issue that I know a lot of couples are facing. Again, but we both are, are here and hope that uh, having families, starting families is possible, though, even if there are some infertility issues. Let's go ahead and put your contact information because if anybody is watching this morning has any questions, again, this doctor is very knowledgeable in all of this, there is the number to do so um, as well, and you can find it over at the uh, Women's Health Center Tampa. So thank you so much, doctor. I enjoyed our visit this morning. It was great to be here. Thank you for having me.